All right, welcome back. We have some positive news about the ongoing recovery from Hurricane Ida. Some West Bank students returned to school, their school, for the first time since Ida, following some much needed repairs. That's right. WDSC's Morgan Lentis takes you inside Ray St. Pierre in West Wego in a story you'll see only on six. A lot of schools in Jefferson Parish suffered damage during Hurricane Ida, but it took some longer than others to be repaired. That's what made the return for students here at Ray St. Pierre so special. It was really, it was really good. good. From the playground to the hustle and bustle of an elementary school hallway. Look at that smile time. Class is back in session at Ray St. Pierre. All right, Erilyn, good job. It's a day many students, teachers and staff have been waiting for. Last August, the building shut down after suffering water and wind damage from Hurricane Ida. If you would have looked at the outside of our building, the outside of our building looked beautiful. But the inside was a different story. School administrators say it took almost one year to make the necessary repairs. Which was hard for people to understand when you look at the outside of a beautiful building, realizing the inside at that point was not usable for children. For a time, that meant parents had to shuttle different kids to different schools, which wasn't always easy. I had to leave extra early and try to be early at one carpool. Um, to make it to the next one in time before that one ended. And for some families, it was even worse. We had a few students, I can say at least in my grade, um, that had to go live with aunt or uncle or grandma and they didn't have anything. We draw from the entire community. So we have kids that were in Lafitte that are still dealing with some of the rebuilding in their, their own homes. I thought if you made it through, fetch something in the back. Making the need for stability at school like, so much more important. Too. Teacher Lindsay Cuvion says the whole experience taught her students a very important lesson. I say accept what you have and make the best of it. So always do your best. So even if it's not, you know, an ideal situation, you still have to make the best of it because it's what we're presented. And as long as you make the best, it's going to be the best. Morgan Lentis, WDSU News.